Sam Jordan was still feeling really sad because he lost his wife Jenny in a terrible car crash. Jenny had died three years ago, and Sam was taking care of their little girl Mia all by himself. Sam was having a really tough time dealing with his grief, and Mia's too. As father and daughter were trying their best to put their pain behind them, something happened that shook them both. But what could that be? Welcome back to Storyscape. Before we dive into today's video, take a moment to click that like button and subscribe to our channel. Be sure to also hit that notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Sam Jordan had always been known for his strength and resilience and was the kind of person who could weather any storm that life threw his way. But when he lost his beloved wife, he was left reeling and unable to find his footing for three long years. Those who knew Sam and Jenny would understand why Jenny's loss was so tough for Sam. The two, who had been high school sweethearts, met in their sophomore year. Sam had been a quiet, studious boy, while Jenny was the lively girl with a smile that could light up the room. It was an unlikely pairing, but from the moment their eyes met, there was an undeniable connection. Their love story unfolded in the hallways and lunchrooms of their school. They shared secrets, whispered sweet nothings, and fell deeper in love with each passing day. Graduation came, and they were inseparable, heading off to college together, eager to face the world hand in hand. Their journey through college was marked by challenges and triumphs. They studied late into the night, supported each other through tough exams, and celebrated their successes together. They grew together, and their love strengthened with each passing day. Their love was a beacon of hope for those who witnessed it. Sam and Jenny started building their life together. They got married, and before long, a child came into the picture. The couple named their little girl Mia and promised to be the best parents ever. Sam and Jenny's love continued to grow, and the two found joy in the little things, like lazy Sunday mornings, impromptu dance parties in the living room, and cooking dinner together while sharing stories of their day. However, one evening, tragedy struck. The family had just finished dinner, and Jenny insisted on going to pick up some cute baby clothes that she had seen the previous day before they were bought by another person. Jenny kissed Sam and little Mia tenderly and promised to return soon. But little did they know that it was a promise that would never be fulfilled. A few hours after Jenny left, Sam received a call that would shatter his world. There had been a terrible car accident. He rushed to the hospital, his heart pounding with fear and desperation. But when he arrived, Jenny had already passed away. In the years that followed, Sam tried to come to terms with his loss, but the pain was insurmountable. He couldn't escape the memories they had made together. Every corner of their home, every street they had walked down hand in hand, was filled with echoes of Jenny's laughter and the warmth of her presence. The years without her were a blur of grief and longing. He clung to the memories, replaying them in his mind like a broken record. The way she used to sing in the shower, her laughter when he told a silly joke, and the feel of her hand in his as they strolled through the park were etched into his soul. Jenny's absence left an emptiness in Sam's heart that nothing could fill. He found himself talking to her as if she were still there, sharing his thoughts and dreams, seeking her guidance in moments of uncertainty. It was as if she had become a part of his inner world, a constant presence that he couldn't let go of. Sam's friends and family worried about him. They saw a man trapped in the past, unable to move forward, and feared greatly for Mia. They encouraged him to seek therapy, to find a way to heal as he needed to be strong to raise their daughter. But Sam couldn't bear the thought of letting go of Jenny, even if it meant living in a perpetual state of grief. It wasn't until after three long years that Sam thought he and Mia had finally reached a point where life felt somewhat normal. It was then that he decided to plan a vacation for them. Sam thought that taking Mia on a two-week trip to sunny California would be a great change from their Colorado home. He found a cozy bed and breakfast in Venice Beach, right by the sea, and a lively place that Mia would surely like. During their vacation, father and daughter quickly got used to the relaxed pace of life in this new place. They settled into a daily routine of going to the beach in the morning, having lunch, and then sightseeing in the afternoon. Then, one sunny day, 
something extraordinary happened. Sam and Mia were having a treat of ice cream when suddenly Mia cried out, Look, Daddy, it's Mommy! Without wasting a moment, Mia darted into the crowd on the boardwalk. Sam dropped his ice cream and chased after Mia, eventually catching up with her about 100 meters away. Trying to catch his breath, he exclaimed, Mia, you know you can't run away from Daddy. Breathing heavily, Mia insisted, But Daddy, it's Mommy! She's right there! Mia pointed at a couple a little further down the boardwalk, who were examining some beautiful handicrafts. Sam lowered himself to Mia's level and held her tiny hands. He said gently, Sweetie, you know Mommy is in heaven. However, Mia shook her head determinedly. No, Daddy, I recognize Mommy from the picture on my wall. That's Mommy. Sam was about to explain once more that Jenny was no longer with them when the woman Mia had pointed to turned around. At that moment, Sam's heart felt like it had skipped a beat. It was Jenny, or someone who looked exactly like her. Sam stood up, took Mia's hand, and walked towards the woman. When they were just a few feet away, Mia suddenly broke free from Sam's hand and rushed to the woman in front of her. Mommy! She cried with joy. Oh, Mommy, I knew it was you! The woman bent down to Mia and frowned, then glanced up at Sam with a confused expression. Sam was about to say sorry when the man standing beside her turned around. It was Cleve, his best friend, Cleve, whom he hadn't seen since Jenny's funeral. Cleve, Sam explained. Man, you wouldn't believe what happened. But something seemed very wrong because Cleve looked scared and tightly held on to the woman who resembled Jenny. We have to go, he yelled in panic. The lady who looked like Jenny seemed surprised. And then, something happened. Sam, what's wrong? She asked Cleve. She thought Cleve was Sam, but how? Then Sam came closer and put his hand on Cleve's shoulder, looking puzzled. Cleve, what's happening? Who is this lady? He asked. The lady, who resembled Jenny, smiled and said, I'm Sam's wife, Jenny. Mia who was still holding on to the lady, shouted in victory, See, Daddy? It's Mommy! Mommy? The lady replied, gently touching Mia's face. I wish I were. I always wanted a little girl, and I was hoping to name her Mia. I'm Mia, the child declared, and you're my Mommy, and that's my Daddy. Cleve turned pale, trying to escape Sam's firm grip. It's not what it looks like, he exclaimed. I didn't plan it. It just happened. Cleve explained that after the car burned from the crash and they had a funeral, he saw a picture of a woman on a TV show about missing persons one night, and it turned out to be Jenny. Jenny must have crawled far away from the site of the crash with a brain injury as she couldn't remember who she was. The doctors already thought she must have been in a bad crash. Cleve realized that the person who died in the crash was probably a young girl that she picked up because she was known for always picking up young girls who hitchhiked. Sam was angry that Cleve hadn't come to him earlier, as he and Mia were mourning Jenny in pain. Cleve confessed that he loved Jenny and felt that Sam had taken her away from him when they started dating. That's why he didn't tell Sam the truth. Jenny, who had been listening, was shocked. She realized that Cleve had lied to her, saying he was her husband and dismissing her dreams about a baby girl as fantasies. Furious, Jenny confronted Cleve, and Sam called the police. Later, when they sat down together to sort out the mess caused by Cleve's obsession, Sam explained to Mia that it would take some time for Jenny to remember everything, and he urged her to be patient. Jenny, despite everything, smiled and shared her feelings. She had always felt that something was wrong in the past three years. Now, with the truth out, it felt like the world was finally getting back on track. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel if you're yet to do so. Be sure to also hit that notification bell because we have more amazing stories on the way. We'll see you in the next video.